Bible said, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. How in the world, you know what I'm saying, you known as a secular artist. You know what I mean? Now you've professed to come to know the Lord, but yet still you do a gospel song, you know what I mean, over here just to fit this arena. But everything else that you live for, everything that you do, is still glorifying yourself, glorifying this world, everything that's opposite of the kingdom of God. You know what I mean? Where is that? When the Bible says, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. In other words, everything becomes subject to Christ. Everything. I mean, your talents, your time, your treasure, who you are. You Now you live for Christ and it's for him that you die. You know what I mean? So it just appalls me how so many people uh, profess to have had, came into a saving knowledge of the Lord, have encountered uh, 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 the awesome power of the risen Lord. You know what I mean? Have had this encounter like a like Apostle Paul or Saul on the road of the masses being knocked off of their horse of pride, their, their, their horse of self-will. You know what I mean? And not get up with the same heart that's laid bare in scriptures as Paul says, Lord, what would thou have me to do? You know what I mean? It just amazes me. You know, the word doesn't support me. So, you know what I mean? Personally, in my music and in my ministry, what I'm striving to do by the grace of God is not only to call people back to the authority of God's word, but then also, man, to raise the bar and heighten the bar, man, to let cast know. Man, this lip service and this culture, American culture, Christianity, man, dude, we better get back to the basis of the scriptures and bring this thing back to the word and look at this thing in the light of the word because there are so many cats that are deceived, man. We think just because we rapping for the Lord, like God is going to take that into consideration, but yet still we living in sin. You know what I'm saying? We're thinking just because, you know what I mean, we we giving our money or, or whatever we're doing, like God is going to some kind of way give us a slide or give us a pass. No, dude, the Bible said without holiness. You know what I'm saying? No man should see God, man. So it's like, you know what I mean, doing the music, doing the ministry, traveling, doing all that, yet still in our heart of hearts. If we're not broken and contrite, man, and really serious about walking this, walking, living this thing, man, it's all null and void. And you say, well, 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 again, where is all this coming from? Because, man, I travel. I have chances to share the stage with a lot of different people. You know what I'm saying? Going in churches, going on, you know, venues, man. And it's just, it's crazy, dude. It is crazy. I mean, you got from one venue to, you know, everybody walking in and they blanked out. You know what I'm saying? They got clicked up. You know what I'm saying? They pulling up deep. You know, you walking in like entourages like we do in the world. You know what I mean? Standoffish. You know what I mean? But then, you know what I mean? It's like, again, dude, we ain't supposed to be like the world, man. It's supposed to be so much love amongst believers that the world should envy and desire what they see in us. But we're so distanced and so separated and so, you know what I mean, divided. How in the world can we affect this world like God has called us to? It's ridiculous. And this things, these, are the th these are the type of things that need to be addressed. These are the type of things that need to be said. These are the things that need to be spoken about because, again, in the light of the scriptures, these things are not to be. You know what I mean? And then from another venue, you go to and it's just a whole bunch of emotionalism, no truth, no word. You know what I'm saying? Just got a whole bunch of jokers running up and down the aisle, no gospel being for, going for. And at the end of nothing but two hours of emotionalism, we're giving an altar call. By what authority? <laughs> you know what I mean? What are they responding to? You know, you know what I'm saying? Shouted, danced, we ran, we prophesied, we've told them that God wanted them rich, we told them God wanted them to have a Rolls Royce and all this. Oh, yeah, and by the way, God wants you saved, so at this time the doors of the church are open. Come down and, you know what I mean, for those who want to get out the Lord. What are they responding to? The Bible says the gospel of Jesus Christ that saves men from eternal ruin. We ain't talk nothing about the, 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 the condemnation that man is born into because of his sin. We, we, we've shared nothing about, you know what I'm saying, the depravity of, of, of man's heart. Where we're, because of our sin, that makes us the very enemy of God. You know what I mean? We've talked nothing about our sin has made us, you know, at odds with the Holy God, and that's big business. We ain't said nothing about how God became a man, took on human flesh, you know what I'm saying, and, and, and went to a cross and bared the sins of humanity, and only through faith in him do we receive a pardon. We ain't said none of that. We ain't, give, we ain't got no, we ain't give God no platform to come in and do no work, no sovereign work in the hearts of his people. Yet still, we give an altar call. And what happens? 50 kids come, 50 adults come, they say this prayer and walk out the doors thinking they got something that they didn't get. Never come back to church. Next time you see them, they're on the corner still smoking weed, still doing the same thing they're doing. But then now, it's now more of a tragedy because now, if a true minister come and try to share the gospel with them, they quickly tell you, oh, I'm already saved, man. I did that. But, and they're so affirming because again, they said a prayer. No, dude, we, we, gotta, we gotta bring this thing back to the scriptures, man. You know what I mean? So this is me, man. You know what I'm saying? It ain't just I'm rapping on these tracks. This ain't, you know what I'm saying, a tip to make no name for myself, dude. I'm just a nobody from Savannah, Georgia, who God plucked out for his own glory. And I'm just trying to be faithful to the call to hear well done at the end of my race, man. Zion, the realest believer. 